Then the king instructed Ash Ashpenaz, which in Hebrew is Ashpenaz and means I will make prominent the sprinkled. I will make prominent the sprinkled. And that is interesting because we see in the rituals that Yahweh would tell the people to do as a shadow of things to come, they would kill an animal and use the blood and sprinkle it on the people, showing that the forgiveness of sins would come through the blood of the lamb that would be sacrificed for our sins, the male goat of Yom Kippur and the uh, ox of Yom Kippur. So Ashpenaz means I will make prominent the sprinkle, as in, um, well, the meaning of the name showing how Yahweh will elevate the chosen few who have been sprinkled with the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach in the end times, after the two witnesses are killed and the many are sacrificed and then justified through the blood of Mashiach. Also, Ashpenaz starts with Esh, well, Ash, but you can pronounce it Esh, and it would mean fire. So those who are tested through the fire, like the fire that comes out through the mouth of the two witnesses. Ash pe, the pe is a mouth, so fire through the mouth. The nun is a seed, and nun is the um, is a a children. Well, is a a child of uh, Yosef. So pretty much, Yosef had Ephraim. Ephraim had nun, and from nun came also Yahushua, known as Joshua, who represents the prophet like Moshe. So the last, represented by Yahu Yakim, because he would raise up, the last is a son of Nun. And the letter Nun is found here after the mouth. And after the Nun is a Zain, which is a sword. So the name Ashpenaz is pretty connected through the to the doctrine of the two witnesses which will elevate the chosen few so it can be seen the fire through the mouth of the son of Nun as a sword which is the word of Yahweh Yahushua said that he would come and fight with the uh, wicked using the sword of his mouth during these end times and not just the wicked of the nations but those who are within congregations fooling people teaching them wrong doctrines and taking them the wrong way so and it says then the king instructed Ashpenaz the master of his eunuchs to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the kings descendants and some of the nobles 